All right, hey guys, Mr. Kyle, Myers Mathematics, and let's just jump right into it. So this is an example problem that I did um, yes yesterday, this morning. I don't know, I did it very soon in the recent history of my life, and it was actually kind of, uh, I kind of liked it, and I kind of thought it was fun, I, and so I decided I was going to, you know, make a video out of this. That's, that's pretty much what happened. So if you type this in and you're looking for the answer, um, I would recommend, you know, you can always just scroll to the end and get the answer. But if you want to know how to do this, if you had to like do it, it's actually pretty straightforward. And I'll show you the method and it's going to be pretty straightforward. It's actually, um, it's actually pretty, pretty straight. Once, once you kind of see what to do, the steps are actually really not that bad. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive in. There's four terms. It says the first four terms are two comma a minus b comma two a plus b plus seven. Uh, that's a mouthful, and a minus 3b, where a and b are constants, which just means that a and b are numbers that we're going to find out in a second, okay? So constant, variable, um, you know, they're, they're letters, and we're going to try to figure out what the letters are. That's all I mean there. Find a and b, okay? So if we want to figure out what a and b are, remember, if it's an arithmetic sequence, that means I would have to add something to get from 2 to a minus b, right? So, like, if I have the sequence um, 2, 4, 6, 8, dot, 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 dot. If I have this sequence, what is the common difference? What am I doing each time? I'm adding by 2 each time. Okay? So, adding 2 each time. Well, I'm doing something each time. I have no idea what I'm doing each time because I have a bunch of letters in the way, but I do know I'm doing something and I'm doing the same something each time. So if I'm doing the same something each time, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, two plus the common difference, whatever that is, is going to give me the next term in the sequence. And then I can also say, if I want to go from a minus b to the next term, I'd have to add the common difference again. And then I would get 2a plus b plus 7. And then, I'll go ahead and erase this over here. Then the last one would be, okay, well, if I want to go from 2a plus b plus 7, to the next term in the sequence, I'd have to add d again. And then that gives me a minus 3b. So now what I have are three very ugly looking equations, but you can solve them. And I actually made a program for the calculator that solves a system of equations for you. Um, fun fact, you can use this on the SAT because the SAT allows calculator programs, at least at the time of this video. So, of course, if you're watching this 10 years later, you know, check to make sure you can use this um, or however later because they, you know, are always allowed to change the rules. So, you know, always be careful with that. But um, there's, a, there's a program that does this for you on the calculator, and it's actually a pretty easy program to download. It's in my uh, SAT math mini course that is currently free to all of my students that I tutor in the SAT, um, and it's going to be launched very soon. So if you are interested in a mini course to help you boost your SAT math score very quickly, uh, just let me know in the comments below that you're interested, and um, I'm just going to enter everybody that's interested into like a raffle or something, and, and somebody will get it for free when I launch it. Um, but it's not going to be that much. It's going to be a mini course. So... Um, yeah, stay tuned for that if you're interested in that. But um, what I want to do here, if if I'm going to use my little program, I have to have them in this in a certain order. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get everything in the order it needs to be in. Okay, so I just subtracted A's on both sides. That way I can get A on both sides. Um, I'll go ahead and add 3B to both sides as well. And that way I can get all of my letters on one side. Okay, so a plus 4b. And then I want to get all my numbers on the right-hand side. And then I get this. 
And I'm going to go ahead and put in some uh, some leading coefficients here. 1a plus 4b plus 1d equals negative 7. And you'll see why in a second because it has to do with how you use the little program. Um, and then on this one, minus 2a, minus 2a. Remember, I want to get them all so that the letters are on the left and the number is on the right. There's only going to be one number, so I want that to be on the right-hand side. So this is going to be negative a. Um, if I subtract b, that's minus 2b. Looks like the number is already on the right-hand side. Plus d equals 7. All right, so that means negative 1a minus 2b plus 1d equals 7. Okay. And for my 1 over here, this one is uh, pretty straightforward, actually. I just need to move that over, move that over, minus a plus b. Oh, minus a 2, minus a 2 on both sides. So that goes away, that goes away, that goes away. So this is going to be negative a plus b plus d equals negativo 2. And then, of course, I want to write them with numbers in front. Plus 1b plus 1d equals negative Two. Okay, um, so now here I am with all my things. And then what I do is, and this, this is the systems um, thingy that I use, the little program, and it solves a system with two equations, two variables, or three equations and three variables, but it has to be in the form where you have the A, the B, the C, or the X, the Y, and the Z, all in order and then it equals the number. It has to be in that form, so you have to do a little bit of legwork before you can type it into the calculator. But for a three equations, three variables, this is a lot less work than having to solve the whole thing. So I'm just gonna type in my numbers here. Uh, the first number, it says A1, that's negative one. B1, that's one. And then it says C1, um, it says D on here, but you know, I just, I have three letters, it doesn't matter. D is the common difference, so that's my C. So that's one. And and then it says D1, so that's my negative two. Basically, A, B, C, and D are the constants or the, the coefficients. The numbers are what you're entering into here. So then in my blue equation, I go negative one, enter, negative two, enter, one, enter, seven, enter. There we go, there's all the numbers in that one. And then in my green equation, same thing. One, four, one, negative seven. Enter, and I have my answers. It's literally that easy. This equation solver thing is a fantastic. So I get x equals, they say x equals y equals and z equals, but since I typed them in the order of a, b, and d, and on the solver it just does x, y, and z because it's used to like ax plus by plus cz equals d, it's in that form. Um, and I'm using different letters, then, you know, my x is my a, and so on and so on. So a, it says x is equal to 2, so a is equal to 2, y equal to 3, so that means that was b, b is equal to negative 3, and c is equal to, uh, or sorry, d, the common difference is 3. So not that we really need the common difference, um, they only ask for a and b, but we can check it. Right, so a minus b, it would be 2 minus negative 3 is 5. 2 comma 5, hey look, I have to add 3 to get from 2 to 5. So I get the common difference as a bonus there. Okay, so um, since you only need to solve for a and b, what you could do is you could use the blue and the red equations, get rid of the common difference, like subtract it out, do elimination method, and then use the blue and the green equations, use the common difference thing again, and, uh, and and eliminate that again. So you just have two equations with A and B in them, and then you could set those um, and, and eliminate again, or do substitution method, and then solve for A and plug it back in to get B. So you could have done that as well. That actually wouldn't have taken as much time. Um, if you want to see the solution for this, um, there's plenty of, of people that show like how to do a system of equations with two variables and three variables. That's not the goal of this. It was just kind of to show you how to how to solve, how to find what A and B are, and how to do the setup, really, for this problem. So that actually leads me to the end of this video. That is the answer. If you haven't already gotten my awesome free guide, it's the five math mistakes everyone makes and how to avoid them is what it's called. It's really cool. 
It's on our website for free. You just go to MyersMathematics.com and you follow the link there. And um, I think you uh, type in your email uh, and it sends it to you. So it's pretty cool. So check that out and stay tuned for um, some SAT awesomeness in the future. And I hope you guys have